boys welcome back to another video today i have a money making guide for you boys this is going to be located on Ferris island we'll go over literally everything you need to know but before we do that make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe and make sure you follow me on twitch because i stream almost every day and without further ado let's hop right into it now i'll have timestamps down below for literally everything but i want to go over some of the resources that you're gonna find on Ferris island and we're gonna go over what the best items are pound for a pound money making wise what i mean by this is that each item obviously has a value and you want to have the item that has the most value per pound because obviously we don't have grids like tarkov so we can't get most value per square we got to go most value per pound so this right here on the right hand side is seven of the most common items you're gonna find on theris iron especially when you're looking for stuff to sell for money so the best things in relation to price per pound go as follow number one is gonna be the savage marauder flesh this has the most value per pound that you can find fairly commonly we're not gonna go over like the savage marauder head just because that is too chaotic you really don't know if you're gonna get it if you're not gonna get it so for the heavy marauder flesh this is gonna be 1153 k marks per pound so that's a really good ratio next we have the pure theris iron which is fairly simple to find this is gonna sell for 769 k marks per pound and again since it weighs three pounds you just divide it by three because you want the per pound price which is gonna help you since you have a restriction with your bag number three is heavy strider flesh this is gonna be 640 k marks per pound number four is the marauder Water flesh. This is going to be 512 K marks per pound. Next is the bone plate. Bone plates are going to be 379 K marks per pound. Next is the spine briar, which is going to be 366 K marks per pound. And lastly is the Theris iron, which is going to be 341 K marks per pound. And again, you want to go in that descending order. You can find a lot more Theris iron, obviously, than you can Savage Marauder flesh. But I'm just saying, if your bag's full, you're like, oh, I just found a Savage Marauder Flesh. I just found a Heavy Strider Flesh. What could I drop or what should I drop in order to get more money out of my bag? And again, that's just a simple little routine you can go over to show you what you should be picking up money-wise. Now we're going to go over the best kit that you should be rocking for this run. Now this run is all about backpack space. The better bag you have, the more money you'll make. And my tips for you are if you really don't have much, you should bring just a PDW, a white bag, and just go in there, collect as much Theris Iron as possible, and get the hell out if you're going with a white kit don't bother with anything else besides the pure theris iron and the theris iron try to get as much pure because it's worth more than the theris per pound but again if you're going white kit white bag that's gonna be the method i'll show you the route here shortly but again the better bag you have the more money you'll make out of it so again if you have an exotic forged bag or even a purple forged bag with some crazy things like like less weight per pound bring it in you can make a crap ton of money and obviously the better gear you bring in like if you bring an exotic with brutes you have a better chance of making it out alive because you're probably gonna die in this run there's a lot of evil people on theris so you gotta be careful and protect your loot man all right so for this run i decided to go big balls to the wall this is gonna be price per pound so if you have a white bag you're gonna make less money obviously but you're putting much less at risk but for me i said screw it let's put everything on the line i brought an exotic forge bag exotic armor and a brute to protect myself and i literally did the same run that you guys are going to be doing i did more of an extended version unless you want to put on the good armor before this run you're going to want to do a couple things on Theris here. So since we're looking for that Theris iron, we got a couple spots that we gotta hit. We spawned right back here under Sparkling Pool, and that's a pretty good spawn for this route, because we're gonna do a couple different things. We're gonna run all the way down here to Korlev Island HQ, and we're gonna make our way into Quarry. We're gonna loot Quarry for all the Theris iron that it has, and we're probably gonna move in Korlev Core Outpost. They have a little, have a place in there that's really helpful if it's not been mined. There's like 10 nodes if it hasn't been mined. If it has been mined, there's usually like one node. But again, you're gonna go there. Kill them Marauders if you have good gear. Don't kill them if you don't. Again, this is all based on what you bring in and the confidence level that you have. And then after Core Love Core Outpost, you could go Storm Pillar, look for some Spine Briar, then move over into the Atrium. And in the Atrium, you can find a lot of Spine Briar. You can find a lot of Theris Iron. You can find Savage Marauders. That's a really good spot to go. Then after that, you can stop by Cave of Stars. And they have a lot of creatures in there that you can kill. And there's some Theris Iron spawns. And that's mainly the route you're going to take from this area. You could hit up some other areas, but these are the areas that I I recommend and what i did in this video is i actually got stuck in the storm so what i did is i kind of rendezvoused back around so i wanted a round two so as the storm was going on i would move towards cave of stars and then I would make my way back into Korlev Quarry 
find everything that was there again. And then I would head to my evac back at the Osiris offices. That's going to be the route if you just want to get everything. But if you're just looking for Theris Iron, hit Quarry, hit Core Outpost, and then just dip out to your evac. Because again, if you have a white bag, you're not going to have much room. Stick as much pure Theris Iron in there as possible over the normal Theris Iron, then head to your evac. Again, the bigger bag, the better gear, the more money you can make out of this run. Now, I do want to show you guys some of the things that I have found in this run. Again, if you bring better gear, you can get much more money per pound out of this area you see here i'm going to core left quarry i'm killing everything now i'm all the way back in the quarry just mining all of the theris iron here killing all the heavy striders for that flesh now i'm mining just everything back here and once we mine everything back here we're gonna make our way into that core lev core outpost area in the atrium so we're just making our way there and if we see theris iron along the way we're gonna mine it we're gonna get everything that we can get now as you see we're in core lev core outpost and we're killing a marauder hopefully he drops that heavy flesh because again that's gonna be the most worth price per pound now as you see here i got a savage marauder head this thing is worth a metric shit ton it's worth like 116k so right there i should evac right away but i decided you know what let's triple down let's go all the way through so i actually just went through my whole out and i thought i heard someone behind me so again there's gonna be people countering you again if you bring better gear you have a better chance of surviving now in core left core outpost i only had one spawn and if i didn't get one spawn i would have a lot more money to make out of it but again i got that there sign and now i made my way into storm pillar and this is going to be a good area and then i kind of took a long way around because i thought someone was chasing me so i just made my way into the atrium again your route can change based on how your game goes you don't have to follow this like a map you know what i mean just follow it how you can but again you go into atrium you find some there sign you find some spine brow you find some heavy strider you find some savage marauders find everything that you can in here and then after you get out of here with everything that you can you're gonna make your way into that storm pillar area and i found something here that i was not expecting to find at all i don't i've never found this in my life that it's just recording luck i guess i don't really know what happened here as you can see there's a spine briar right there in front of me there's another one all the way down there under my camera it's all the way down here in the lower level but if you look right here at what i get from this what i call a butthole area i don't really know it's a hole in the wall what are you gonna do i find an abyss alloy i check it i'm like what and then i look and it's it's an abyss alloy i can't believe i found abyss alloy this is literally a free piece of exotic gear and you might as well take it you know that's a bang for your buck already but after i left that area i moved on to cave of stars killed some creatures got some more theris iron along the way cleared out the area again the storm was going on but i decided you know what i'm gonna double down again i looped back around the storm has ended right there so i said you know what i'm close to quarry let me go back to quarry mine a little bit more as you see i make my way back into this general area and I kill the Strider. Look for more heavy Strider flesh. I got a Strider head in the process. I mine more of this Theris iron. And once I mine all this, I'm like, you know what? I'm pretty good for now. I have a pretty full bag. It's decently, decently full. And we made our way to evac. We successfully evac. And this was what I got from this run. I got 290,000 K marks worth. Again, if you subtract this head, it's about a 180K K mark run. So that's pretty solid, excluding the head. 180K for a run that took, what, 15 minutes at max is a very, very good thing. Again, bring better gear you're gonna make it out more alive you bring a better bag you're gonna get more money out alive again the better stuff you bring in the more confidence you can have in doing all this and going back in and out through different routes again don't have gear fear go in there get it done get the money and get out and hopefully you boys enjoyed this was a very quick money making method that i've been using in season two so again if you want to make some money if you really don't have any other methods of making money this is a really good way i made a what 180k without the savage mortar flesh that's pretty good in my eyes if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one at this.